welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway, qualifying underway for the Elite Performance Industries Sprint Car Series. Quinn Newton in the 88 out on track. This is single car quali, so everybody jumps out there and does what they can in two laps. They go by quick. Newton, the early pole sitter. We'll bobble off the final corner there, Newton. Not picking up on lap two. Cody Brown goes up to second and spins out after crossing the line. Lucas Hoisman now goes second. And Quinn Newton, for the first time this season, has beaten his teammate, Lucas Hoisman, in qualifying. <laughs> King Kart all the way back to fifth. So we will not have a 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven front row. Very unusual. Newcomer Joey Robinson, fastest in practice. Out on track in the two. Intimidating all black machine. 1447.5 for Robinson. Puts him up into the fifth spot. You're just sitting on pit road. Nathan Lafayette out there doing some practice. Tenth fastest. Damon Nagel in the Trevor Project machine. Tonight's race. All about raising awareness for the Trevor Project. Nagel's lap puts him up to the fourth spot. Second lap for Nagel. 14.41 moves him up to third, so Nagel. Up near the front behind the two CTC machines. Looks like Clapper Newell's going out to qualify. Gone halfway through the practice here. See Trevor Project on the front wing of this one. Newell on his first time lap. 15 cars showing up tonight. Clipper Newell jumps up to 8th on his first lap. Down to 3 and 4 on his second and final timed lap. Just a hair slower second lap, so he'll remain eighth. And he'll pull it down to the inside, so we'll just show you Elston out there with a breast cancer awareness scheme. A lot of awareness in October. You'll see that both in this race and in their Fort Worth screen printing Xfinity race a little bit later on. Just showing you Elston doing some practice laps because qualifying the only car left that could qualify is Brett Reynolds. That's why we're still counting down the time instead of skipping ahead because Reynolds could go out and qualify. Show you the 15 of Cher. Double zero, Nathan Lafayette. All out there getting some extra practice in. Especially if they showed up late to the regular practice when the track was already well worn. They get a little bit better track here. End of qualifying, go out there and get some practice laps in. Voice meter went to pop up in the middle of everything. And that'll do it for qualifying. Quinn Newton going to be your pole sitter. Quinn in the 88, taking top Welcome honors to in this one. Uh, we will have two eight lap heats. Everybody will make it, so heats are just for grading purposes. Uh, one fast repair. Uh, 30 lap feature, two in a warm up. Uh, anybody with the wrong number will get an EO out. 
start of the feature, but I think everybody has the right number. Uh, good luck, have fun, and thank you for coming out. There you are, quick rundown. Let's grab Quinn Newton. Quinn, DG, you got a copy? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, you beat that number seven guy for once. How does it feel to be faster in qualifying than the seven? Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. <laughs> we were talking about it. I don't know. I just wasn't quite sure what the line was, if I should ride the top there, if I should go low. And I went low in one and two, and it just stuck. And I'm like, oh, this is this is great. So I did in three and four, and it was like, man, this is a perfect lap. I blew out what I was expecting to run. So it felt good. Hopefully we can uh, finish this off here and not get past and restart. Damn four. Well, we're rolling off from the best spot for this heat race. If you can uh, maintain it there, you'll be starting up front for the feature. That's obviously goal number one. So what is your plan to try and maintain that? You said the restart's going to be important. Yeah, my restarts in, in the league haven't been great here. Um, if I can just get out front here, I think uh, the heat win I should be able to have. I know like starting out front has been my biggest you know, just downfall um, in some of these features. I mean, even starting third or fourth. Um, you know, you want to be up in the front row because sometimes with all the cautions and whatnot, and especially if it starts to get slicked, slicked off, uh, even if I'm able to hold it, which I'm not the best in a slick, if I'm out front, it's a lot easier, you know, to stay up front, obviously. So hopefully I can just finish up front here in the seat race and not blow it on the restart. Ten four. Good luck to you, sir. Appreciate it. Quinn Newton, fastest in qualifying, rolls off first in heat number one. Getting a quick word with him in the Elite Performance Industry Sprint Car Series, part of the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. Thanks to him for letting us have a chat pre-race here. Find my way back to the broadcast booth. There we go. All right, starting lineup. Let's go ahead and get a little Labor 12 flair in here. Labor 12 starting lineups. Quinn Newton and Damon Nagel, your front row. Then you have Bryant Reynolds, Clayton Kingcart, row number two. Scott Elson and Jonathan Ligger, row number three, and your fourth row, Nathan Lafayette and Brett Reynolds. Caution laps do not count in this eight lap heat. We are about to get underway from Bristol. Again, thanks to Labor 12 for the tunes. Appreciate them making that for us. Should be fun to see 15 cars out here in the main a little bit later on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tommy Quinn's going to be blinking in and out. Did my quality just drop there? I mean, we yeah. can't tell your quality, but you disappeared. <laughs> Alright, if it gets bad, let me know. I guess I'll freaking pull it off. I just, my internet just spiked. So connection issues for leader Quinn Newton. That's not good. Finally gets ahead of his teammate in the seven. Nice jump for Newton. Nagel. And second bangs the wall. We're three wide for that second spot. 83 down low. Oh. We have King Cart up into the second spot. Damon Nagel third. Bryant Reynolds five on your scoreboard. 83 on the track. Ahead of Brett Reynolds. Father son racing there. I like when they both get in the same heat. Currently in the 4th and 5th position. Newcomer Jonathan Legger. Not new to Sidewinder, but new to the Sprint car. Out there in the 6th spot. Nathan Lafayette, 7th. Scott Elston, bringing up the rears. Newton comfortably in command. King Cart. This is Elston may have had a bit of an incident at the start. I think Brett Reynolds just hit the wall hard enough to set off a 2x contact, but didn't make too big of a damage on the machine. <laughs> See if you can watch the 28 front wheels seem quickly jerking back and forth. He runs controller, so that's what it looks like when you're on controller and using directional pad. It says it's easier to run dirt on controller. Newton well out in front. Battle is on for second. Nagel and Kingcart. Oh, a little bit of net code. Nagel crossed the line for the final lap. He didn't make visual contact, but you can see the net code push Kingcart up the track. 
And Kurt going to try to hammer down off the top and get back to the line before him. I think Nagel held on to second there. Newton obviously getting the win. Anyone need some medical attention? <laughs> So Newton gets the win. Nagel does get second. King Cart third. Bryant Reynolds beats Brett Reynolds. And we'll go to heat number two. Seven cars for this one. Dustin, thank you so much for the resub. Appreciate you, my friend. Lucas. Not used to being in heat number two. <laughs> Lucas will be on the front row for heat number two. Let's go have a little chat with Lucas while the field gets on track here. Lucas, DG, got a copy? Gotcha. Well, how do you feel being beat by Quinn in qualify? Um, you know what? It feels good to be able to watch the first heat. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see him. Uh, he, he's been fast in a lot of these races. And to get a pole, he's, he's struggled with getting by and taking that lead at the start. So I think it, it's going to be awesome to see him start up front and see what he can do with it. 10 4, you'll be starting alongside. If you can finish where you're at right now, what are your prospects of getting ahead of the field and staying there for this one? Um, I haven't had much practice in the slick here, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve to start out with, and we got a lot of fast people in this heat. So I think it's going to be tough to hold the lead here, but I'm going to try my best. And, uh, you know, I think some lines are going to open up now that the slick is forming here in 1 and 2. 10 4, good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Lucas Weissman, CTC Racing, number 7. On the front row for this heat race here. Qualified second. First in heat number two. Field working their way down the back stretch. We should be getting the pace truck off the corner of exit turn four. And it'll be time to party for eight laps of heat number two. Caution free the first heat. See if we can repeat that in heat number two. Cody Brown getting very out of shape on the front row. He's falling back quickly. Settles into the four spot. We lost two spots on the start there. Plays for out front. The two of Joey Robinson, fastest in practice. Settles in. Second spot there. Starting to run down Lucas Hoytsman. That lap Hoitsma faster, so jump back to this battle for third. Cody Brown's gotten back around Clap Renewal. That Shatler in the NASCAR stuck up against the outside wall. He's going to lose a spot to Jeremy Scher. Uh oh, big send from Ethan Evers gets up and into Shatler. That might be our caution, and there it is. Let's see if they can both get it rolling again. Evers trying not to hit Shatler. <laughs> Shatler, I think, took the toe there. Yeah, Shatler. On pit road. Hoisman comes around. Ever stays on that lead lap. So we did not go caution free in heat number two. Shatler getting up and into the outside wall then becoming a bit of a slow moving machine as in came Ethan Evers in seventh to make contact 26 and 27. Evers went around. Caught back up to the back of the field. Shatler took the toe there. All right, after review, the 27 was riding along the top, but started to come down. The 26 hit the flat uh, at the bottom and slid up. Uh, because I cannot determine who was at fault, this is going to be called a racing incident. No penalty given. There you go. No penalty given. Remember, pace laps do not count, so we still have four to go once we go back green flag racing. Yeah, Lucas Hoisma, Joey Robinson, Cody Brown, Jeremy Clapper Newell, Jeremy Scher, and then Ethan Evers.
still circling around behind the pace truck. Hopefully we get the one to go here, and we do, so Hoisma, Robinson, Brown, your top three. Field rolls slowly behind the pace truck down the back stretch. Here we go. Pace truck is off. Hoitzman the seven jumps the accelerator. Brown a little out of shape on the restart there. Clapper Newell's going to have a shot at him. Clapper Newell gets pretty high up the track though. Cody Brown's going to hang on to it. Hoitzman out front. A big gap on Joey Robinson then. They both have left Cody Brown with his awkward restart there. They are not, Bill. I don't know how to fix them. <laughs> it's been an issue with uh, stream elements. Hoisman and Robinson, one and two. Looks like they are set to finish that way. Closest battle is this one for third. The white flag is out. Tam Ford, Bill. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill. <laughs> Lucas Hoisman, going to win heat number two. Lucas, I wasn't sure if three stars were on green or not, so uh, good job. <laughs> then Lucas destroys his car. Yeah. yeah that and we head into our two-minute warm-up. Okay, so as a reminder, once we get going, five car, you will have an EOL for incorrect number. This is the third week in a row, unfortunately. Um, and it does count as one of your three penalties for the night. If you if you get so if you get two more penalties, it ends up being a DQ. Just a heads up. All right, so the five car, Bryant Reynolds. Yeah, several, someone check that seven car. I think he's got a wrong number. No, I don't know how to fix it. Uh, you fix it by getting a paint that has a five on it. <laughs> he ran a five earlier in the season. He had that shark beat car. Initial green is on the flag. The initial start is on the flag. All other restarts are on the leader. Correct. Looks Thank like you. Tyler Shatler is not gridded up. Let's go ahead and get our Labor 12 starting on music. Coy Newton, Lucas Hoisman out front. Damien Abel, Joey Robinson, row number two. Clayton Kingcart, Cody Brown, row three. Bryant Reynolds. Taken to EOL, but he was slated to start row four alongside Jeremy Clapper Newell. Brett Reynolds, row five, alongside Jeremy Scher. Row six, Jonathan Legger looks like he's also taken an EOL alongside Ethan Evers in the 26. Row seven, Nathan Lafayette, and would have been Tyler Shatler. Shatler not gritting up and starting at the back, Scott Elston in the 85. But there you have it, our starting lineup presented by Labor 12. Appreciate them throwing in some intro music for us. I prefer it to be rather short. Like I don't have a full out rule set, but we prefer it to be short. Fourteen cars officially, with Shatler not gritting up here. Green flag is out and we are underway from Bristol. Cody Brown smacking the outside wall on the start. He has struggled on the starts in that 17. We are getting sideways in a hurry. Check out the action. Mid-pack as they're all side by side. Cody Brown, I believe that was Brett Reynolds in the 06. Dicing it up for six spot. Up front it is Quinn Newton, Lucas Hoisman, and Robinson, your top three. Robinson. All over the back end of that seven of Hoisma. Nagel in the four spot. King Card is fifth. I believe the two of Robinson just brushed the wall on corner entry. 
we are still green. That is impressive. <laughs> How many cars were sideways on the start there? It's like King Card, a little out of shape in the 77 down on the inside back there. As we get the aerial view up from the top of the stands, you see the two of Robinson trying to work over the seven of Lucas Hoitzma. Field all staggered out at the moment. See the slick starting to work in there on corner entry. Turn number one. A little bit there on turn three as well. Not as bad. Newton and Hoitzma action heating up for the lead. And Hoitzma falls back a little bit and Robinson trying to take advantage. Hoitzma way up the track. much happening there. There's Nagel in fourth. King Kart, Cody Brown battles with Reynolds still. But these two have been going at it since the drop of the green. All eight laps so far these two have been battling. Uh oh contact. Brett Reynolds gets up into Cody Brown. That's gonna bring it out as Ethan Evers. And then the five of yep, everyone piling in. <laughs> Just the mess as the caution took a long time to come out. But that started with contact between Reynolds and Brown. Right there. A little bit of contact in the left rear. They come together, get stuck. Ethan Evers slides in, and the five of Reynolds. The double zero loses his nose. 85, Scott Elson involved. Sprint car version of the big one, it looks like. A lot of cars piling up in there. Oh, we made it 10 laps there. Obvious suspension damage to the 06. Watching everybody come down and take their repairs. Looks like the five might be trying to do damage repair. He hasn't taken the quick repair. Out front, Quinn Newton, Lucas Hoitzman, Joey Robinson, Damon Nagel, Clayton Kingcart. Top five there. Jeremy Clapper Newell in sixth. Jeremy Scherer seventh. Nathan Lafayette is eighth. That's 85 Scott Elston in ninth. Cody Brown in the 10th spot. Ethan Evers after his fast repair in 11th. Jonathan Legger 12th. Brett Reynolds 13th. Bryant Reynolds still doing the toe or damage repair, one of the two. <laughs> the lights go out on the pace truck. I'm sure we'll see him run back out on the track. Lights are out on the pace truck, so sure the five will get down and going again to stay on a lead lap. Field works their way through. Uh, he did have to take the toe, so he's taking the fast repair, getting tires. Did I think tires would matter all that much for getting tires on the five machine? Field working their way through three and four, he needs to get going. He's going to go a lap down. Quinn Newton gets us restarted. Lucas Hoisma. Joey Robinson, your top three. Quinn gets a good jump on his teammate. And they're catching the lap machine. This could get dicey in a hurry. Lap machine out of shape. Had to scare Newton. Allows Hoitzman to get right on the back end. 
Weisman looks to the inside of his teammate. Trying to get it done on the bottom as Quinn Newton rips the top. Weisman going to get the lead. Impressive. Seven finding enough grip down low to get ahead of the 88 of Newton. You know Quinn wants to get that back. Quinn was so excited to qualify ahead of his teammate for once. Newton now falling back a little bit to the two. Brett Reynolds is falling back to 13th. Looks like he has some contact with the wall. And also maybe the 28 car, Jonathan Ligger. Ligger big time out of shape on the bottom of the 28. Bangs the inside wall. <laughs> Weisman now stretched it out a bit over this battle for second between Quinn Newton and Joey Robinson. Kinkart riding in the four spot. Just not seeing the speed we're used to seeing out of the 77 here at Bristol. Damon Nagel just smacked the wall riding in fifth. Clapper Newell currently sixth. That orange and white 21. Jeremy shares seventh. Scott Elston motoring along in eighth. Cody Brown's falling back to ninth since that restart. Looks like his front end front suspension is damaged. See one wheel point in a different direction than the other. It's a telltale sign there. You see Brett Reynolds in 10th. Ethan Evers 11th. Lafayette is 12th. Legger 13th. And then back up front. Place went way down on the flat. And then drifting it across the slick. Very creative line there. <laughs> He's all the way down by the wall. And slides it across the slick to get off the corner. And he has caught Lafayette. Leaders in lap traffic with 10 to go. He can't slide all the way out because Legger is there. Leaders in precarious spot getting into lap traffic. Quinn Newton trying to take advantage. Push Lucas into a mistake. Caution comes out. Looks like Jeremy Scherer may have gone around. gets the back tires on the slick and around goes the 15. Brushes the inside wall with the left front. That probably helps the leaders get out of that lap traffic. Quinn Newton probably wishes it didn't come out. He was putting all kinds of pressure on Lucas. out front of a Newton. Let's go see if we can have a chat. Because chats are fun. Well, Lucas, you're able to get by in there on that green flag run. What's it going to take to hold back your teammate here for the final eight laps? Uh, I don't know. It seems like every three laps the line changes. I, I'm trying to stay on top of it, but it's just going to take him figuring it out one lap before me and he'll have a run and it's going to get dicey here. I think that two's got a lot of speed. Um, it, it could be any three of us, really, coming down to the end here. So you're getting real creative with the line, about hitting the inside wall. You're going so low there and then sliding it across the slick on exit. How much of a handful was that to drive? Um, you know, with those lap cars coming up, I figured I'd try the apron. It was fast in practice, but I don't think the track was quite there yet because, yeah, it was, it was a handful down there. I think it just had a bit too much grip, if that makes sense. It's handful, well... Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Quinn, DG, you got the copy? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right. How are you going to get back around that number seven? I don't know. I, I just got to keep following him in the low line here. Um, I'm, you know, we'll see what happens. The, low, the high line is just isn't there at all. So just got to keep him in the low line. Hopefully he gets a little bit looser than I in one of these corners, and maybe I can bump him out of the way or something here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It looked like those lap traffic was about to play havoc on him, but then uh, the caution came out and freed you guys from that. Were you a little disappointed that the caution came out? 
Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't pull me when the caution came out because I was shouting some uh, some naughty words there. I was not happy <laughs> with that caution. I was those lappers are what was letting me catch him there, and that caution came Do out. Right, I think that pretty much up. sealed it for him here. He's gonna get a good jump here, and he's just gonna ride away. I think, but uh, we'll give our we'll give it all we got here. Maybe uh, maybe we'll send it a little bit harder, and we should and see what happens. <laughs> it's in four, all right, but good luck to you. Quinn Newton in the second spot in the 88, getting a word with our top two at the moment. Lucas Hoisman, Quinn Newton, thanks for them jumping in and having a chat with us. Appreciate it. We get this little hydrate from Murr here going on. Lots happening at one time. <laughs> totally forgot to turn sound commands off, but now we got them off. Thanks to Murr reminding me. Seems like every time Murr does hydrate, I'm drinking grape water. It's just it's fitting. Very fitting. So Hoist going to have control of the field as we have eight laps to go in our main event. The RaceEPI.com Sprint Car Series. If you don't know about RaceEPI.com, head on over there and check it out. They have iRacing setups. They have sweet swag. They've got all kinds of good stuff. they got coaching to help you learn how to drive said setups that they help with. It's a lot. Of, it's a good community. I would, I would definitely recommend. So check it out. RaceEPI.com. As we get back underway, Lucas Hoisman, Quinn Newton, not laying back on that restart. Gets a very good restart. He thought Lucas would jump way out on him. He has not. Quinn Newton right on his back bumper. Game on for the lead. Hoisman trying that very low line again. Gets a little out of shape on exit. Newton's going to look to the inside. Quinn Newton now down low. Hoisma running the top. Newton's going to get in front. Will Lucema send it to the bottom? Lucas does. Right back to the bottom. Does not get in front of Quinn Newton, so he's going to have to go back. Try again. Newton running it right through the slick that time. Great move by Newton to get Hoisma off the bottom. Now Hoisma trying the top, seeing if he could find something. Newton staying down low, running the slick. See, Robinson's falling back a ways in third. Nagel starting to work him over as we got three to go from Bristol. I'm impressed that Newton's just keeping that car so steady through the slick part. Newton gets the white flag. Caution will not ruin his fun. Newton out front in the 88. Lucas Hoisma a distant second. Quinn Newton going to come off turn four and get the victory over his teammate. Quinn Newton wins from the pole. Lucas Hoisma winds up second. Robinson in his debut finishes third. Nagel picks up a fourth. And King Cart, your top five. Clapper Newell gets sixth. Elston seventh. Cody Brown finish 8th, Brett Reynolds ninth, and Ethan Evers in the top 10. Quinn Newton picking up the victory. He's going to be excited for this. <laughs> Interesting celebration from Nagel there. If we can get the top 3 to the interview room please. Robinson, Hoitzma, and Quinn Newton. We got Robinson in the waiting room. We'll go ahead and pull him up. Joey, DG, you got the copy? Yep. Well, you're able to bring it home in third in your debut. How would that feel? It's good, but I'm still a little bit disappointed in myself. Fastest car in practice. Thought maybe you had a little bit more for the first two? Oh, definitely. I I just screwed it up in qualifying and couldn't get it uh, right on the bottom. It's in four, but still a third place to start off your Sidewinder career has to be pretty good there. You got any friends, family, and sponsor shout outs to give to us tonight? I want to thank uh, Diad Racing, Victory Lane, and uh, Fluidine, and the Joy of Seating. Team Four, thank you so much for coming out and racing with us tonight. We appreciate you, and we'll catch you in the next one. My pleasure. Joy Robinson in the two as we go grab the seven of Lucas Hoisman. Lucas, DG, you got that copy again? 
I got you. I feel like I've talked to you all night long. What's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you bring it home second. Quinn Newton put that move to get you off, off the bottom. Looks like that was all she wrote once he was able to get down there. Uh, is that how, how it was behind the wheel? Yeah, you know, just like I said in that interview, I was a bit worried about how quickly the lines were going to change. My apron line dissolved very quickly there, and he was able to just run that bottom. I couldn't find anything else. He was he was just booking on that bottom. I was trying the top, trying the bottom, trying the apron. None of it would work. He just he just kept driving away. Same four. Well, it looks like a still nice CTC one two, just a, a little bit different for you, not being the one out front. Oh yeah, it's it's good to see Quinn get his first win in the series, and uh, he's. He's got enough second place finishes to make up for that, so <laughs> it's awesome. Sam four, you got those friends, family, and sponsor shout out for us tonight. Just uh, as usual, Labor Twelve, CTC, Low Drag, admins in this series, uh, doing a great job. This was a fun night tonight. Uh, you doing the broadcast, and uh, big shout out to Quinn for his first win in this series, and uh, more to come for him. Sam four, appreciate you, Lucas, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one, sir. Thank you. And we bring in the man of the hour, Quinn Newton, getting the victory over his teammate, Lucas Weissman. How much fun was that to pass him for the win? I couldn't believe it. I, 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 that was awesome. I, I, I don't know if he just got loose there or if I just got a better run, but I got underneath him there. It's like, well, I'm saying that no matter what here, so we'll see if we're either going to both be wrecked or hopefully I can get by him. It was the latter, so pretty pumped, finally. Tired of finishing second time. <laughs> that's what he said in his interview too good to see you get up and ahead of him it's nice to have a first time winner in the sprint car series bringing the 88 ctc machine a victory you got those friends family sponsor shout outs for us tonight oh uh, you know a bj blake giggler race no but no seriously <laughs> blake and them for uh like i say it every week they're helping me get a lot better so um and then uh you know it's all the ctc guys except daniel except uh, daniel don't don't help daniel. daniel you can't ever shout out daniel <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I just, yeah, everybody helps out, uh, you know, obviously Blake and Lucas, you know, just running with them helps me keep getting better. So, and, uh, this is what another win in another series, right? So it's spread them all six out. wins in six different series. <laughs> it's very impressive. So I, I will probably never win again, but maybe I need to start running, uh, something else now. I can, I can get another win or something. There you go. We'll just we'll start making new series just for you. <laughs> there you go, just for me. <laughs> hey, bud. Congrats on a victory tonight. It's good to see a, a fresh face in victory lane, and we appreciate you running with us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Quinn Newton in the 88. Picking up the win tonight. Very entertaining race, and uh, a lot of front front uh, front end drama. Like the battle for the lead was very very entertaining most of the race. So, congrats to the CTC team finishing one two. Congrats to Joey Robinson, his first ever. Sidewinder race, bringing home a podium, grabbing an interview. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's Bristol race. Let's look at our final results while we watch these two hooligans goof off on track. Quinn Newton, Lucas Hoitzman, as we said, 1-2. Joey Robinson brings it home third. Damon Nagel and Clayton Kingcart, your top five. Jeremy Clapper, Newell, Scott Elston, Cody Brown, Brett Reynolds, and Ethan Evers, the top ten. Our final 15. Jonathan Ligger, Jeremy Scherer, Bryant Reynolds, Nathan Lafayette, and Tyler Shatler. Shatler. Of course, not gridding up. We'll probably not get credited for starting the race, but there you have it. That is your 14 and 1. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed our broadcast. We have to say this has been iRacing.com. You can head on over there, pick up this track and these cars, and come race with us. Then you can go to DGSRacing.com and click on the big red snake. That'll get you to our Discord where you can sign up to run with us on any night of the week. We have nine different series across all seven nights, so come check it out. Find something you want to run and race with us. We'd love to have you. DGSRacing.com. Appreciate you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next event.